Welcome to St. Andrew United Church of Christ and to our weekday reflection during Holy Week. Holy Week began with Palm Sunday just a few days ago as we celebrated Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. Tomorrow night, on Monday, Thursday, we will gather in our sanctuary for worship at 7 o'clock p.m. The events of the night of Jesus' Last Supper with the disciples will be our focus, as well as his time praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. And then on Easter Sunday morning, we will have a sunrise service at 8 o'clock on our front portico around a fire pit, followed by breakfast at 9 o'clock and Easter worship at 1030. If you live in the Louisville area, I hope you'll join us for some or all of those special services and events. Today is the middle of Holy Week. It is Holy Wednesday, and it's often the day associated with hearing the story of the woman who anointed Jesus with a costly ointment, with the perfume of sorts. And so I invite you to listen to the scripture reading that comes from Matthew, the anointing at Bethany. Now, while Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. But when the disciples saw it, they were angry and said, Why this waste? For this ointment could have been sold for a large sum, and the money instead given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? She has performed a good service for me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. By pouring this ointment on my body, she has prepared me for burial. Truly, I tell you, wherever this good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. you to listen to some words of reflection on the story of the anointing of Jesus at Bethany. These words come from the Wild Goose worship group. It was on the Wednesday that they called him a waster. The place smelled like the perfume department of a mall. It was as if somebody had bumped their elbow against a bottle and sent it crashing to the floor, setting off the most expensive stink bomb on earth. But it happened in a house, not a shop. And the woman who broke the bottle was no casual afternoon shopper. She was the penniless poorest of the poor, giving away the only precious thing she had. And he sat still while she poured the liquid all over his head, as unnecessary as aftershave on a full crop of hair and a bearded chin. And those who smelled it, and those who saw it, and those who remembered that he was against extravagance, called him a waster. They forgot that he was also the poorest of the poor. 
And they who had much and who had given him nothing objected to a pauper giving him everything. Jealousy was in the air when a poor woman's generosity became an embarrassment to their tight-fistedness. That was on the Wednesday when they called him a waster. Yeah. 